Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to revise the chapter of fractions. We will be covering the topics as types of fractions, equivalent fractions, comparison of fractions, adding fractions, subtracting fractions and multiplying and dividing fractions. Also we will be doing some uh, examples of how to represent fractions on a number line. First of all we will start with fraction. Anything which is a part of a whole is called a fraction. There are three types of fractions, proper fraction, improper fraction and mixed fraction. Let's clarify these terms with the help of pictures and examples. So the first one is proper fraction. Proper fractions are fractions where numerator is less than the denominator. Here in the example, a fraction for the shaded part it will be 1 over 4 so here we see that numerator which is 1 and denominator which is 4 so numerator is less than the denominator so this is a proper fraction few more examples of proper fractions are 2 over 6 3 over 7 1 over 9 and so on now let's talk about improper fractions. Improper fractions are fractions where denominator is less than the numerator. That means the top number is more than the bottom number. For example, 4 over 3 is an example of a improper fraction. Here numerator is bigger than the denominator. More examples of improper fraction are 4 over 2, 9 over 5, 7 over 3 and so on. The point to remember here that is that improper fractions are always greater than 1. Now let's move on to the mixed fraction. In mixed fraction we represent the whole part and the fraction part separately. For example, the mixed fraction for this picture is 1 which is the whole part which, is con which consists of 4 parts and one part of the fourth part. So 1 1 fourth is the mixed fraction for this picture. So here in mixed fraction we are representing the whole part and the fraction part separately. This is the whole and this is the fractional part. We can always change mixed fraction into improper fraction by multiplying the new by multiplying the denominator to the quotient part and then adding the numerator. For example, to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction, we need to do 4 times 1 plus 1 over 4, which will give us 5 over 4. A mixed fraction is another way of writing improper fraction. Let's move on to equivalent fractions. Fractions with equal value are called equivalent fractions. This can be clarified with a picture here. Here we have made three pictures where we have shaded a part of the picture. Now we are going to write the fraction for this shaded part. Here we see that the one part is shaded out of the two parts. So the fraction for this picture is 1 over 2. The fraction for the second picture is two parts are shaded out of 4. And the third one is three parts are shaded out of 6. So the fraction for these these pictures are 1 over 2, 2 over 4 and 3 over 6. No matter how many parts you break the picture in, we see that only half of the picture is shaded. That means these are equivalent fraction. The value remains the same. So next is ordering of fraction or comparison of fractions. So here I have taken two examples. The first one is uh, we are comparing two fractions and telling which one is big fraction is bigger and the other one is we, we are arranging these these fractions in increasing order the easiest way to compare fraction is to make them equivalent fractions we can make the denominator of the fraction equal by multiplying it by the lcm of the two denominators so we have 2 over 3 and 5 over 6 as the two fractions so we see that the lcm of 3 and 6 is 6. The denominator of the first fraction is 3. We need to make it 6 to make the both the denominators equal. To make 
the denominator is equal we need to multiply the first fraction by 2 so here whatever we are going to multiply to the denominator we need to multiply to the numerator 2 so we are going to multiply 2 to denominator and numerator both and the other fraction will be 5 over 6 so this fraction will become 4 over 6 and this is 5 over 6 so 5 over 6 is bigger than 4 over 6 by making the denominators equal we can just now compare the two fraction this is 4 parts out of 6 and this is 5 part out of 6 so this one 5 out of 6 is a bigger fraction now let's move on to our next question here we have four fractions to simplify the process let's find the lcm of the denominators of all the fractions so lcm of 5 4 2 and 5 comes out to be 20 you can check out other video to find the lcm of the numbers now here we, we have our first fraction as 2 by 5 and when we need to make the denominator 20 so we are going to multiply it by 4 whatever we are going to do to the de denominator we are going to do it to the numerator 2 so our first one is this the second one is 4 denominator is 4 to make 4 equal to 20 we need to multiply it by 5 so here 2 we are going to multiply by 5 next one is denominator 2 to make the denominator 20 we need to multiply it by 10 and the last one is denominator 5 and we need to multiply it by 4 to make it to 20 so now our fractions will become equivalent fraction with all having the same denominator as 20 so this is 8 over 20 this is 15 over 20 this is 10 over 20 and the next one is 12 over 20 now we can arrange them in increasing order so first one will be 8 over 20 then comes out to be 10 over 20 then comes out to be 12 over 20 and then last one is 15 over 20 so our original fractions are these so we are going to write these as ori our original fractions this is 2 over 5 is less than 1 over 2 is less than 3 over 5 is less than 3 over 4 these are our fractions in increasing order now let's move on to our next topic so next topic is adding fractions for this topic 2 we have taken two examples the first one is we are just adding two simple fractions and then the second one is we are adding a mixed fraction with uh, simple fractions so the first one is for adding two fractions we need to find the lcm of the two denominators and will make the two fractions as equivalent fractions and then we can add the two fractions directly so the lcm of the denominators here lcm of 4 and 3 is 12 our denominator will become 12 here we can write it as common denominator so 4 times 3 is 12 so we'll write 3 times the numerator 1 which is 1 here and the second one will become 3 times 4 so 4 times the numerator is 2 so it is 4 times 2 so this will become 3 plus 8 over 12 which will give us 11 over 12 this is our final answer let's move on to our next example when whenever there is a mixed fraction we will first try to to convert it into improper fraction so this will become 5 over 3 and this mixed fraction can be converted into improper fraction first we need to multiply the quotient or number here with the denominator so 2 times 4 plus 1 this will become 9 over 2 and then our last one is 2 over 1 now we will find the lcm of 3 2 and 1 which is 6 6 will be the common denominator for all the three fractions so 3 times 2 is 6 
so 2 times the numerator 5, 2 times 3 is 6, so 3 times 9 and 1 times 6 is 6, so 6 times 2. This will now become 10 plus 27 plus 12 over 6 which is now equal to 37 plus 12 is 49 over 6. So our answer is 49 over 6. In this way we can add fractions. Let's move on to subtraction of fraction. So here too we have taken two examples. So the first one is 20 over 3 minus 4. So this can be written as 20 over 3 minus 4 over 1. Now we will do the same process as we do in addition. So we will find the LCM here. LCM of 3 and 1 is 3. So here common denominator will be 3. So here common denominator is 3. 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 times 20. And 1 times 3 is 3 and 3 times 4 the numerator here. So this will become 20 minus 12 over 3 which is equal to 8 over 3. This is our final answer. Now let's move on to the next one. Here we have a mixed fraction. So the first step is to, to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So 8 times 2 plus 3 that is 19 over 8 minus 5 over 4. Next we will find the LCM. So LCM of 8 and 4 and 4 is 8. So now the common denominator is 8. So 8 times 1 is 8. So 1 times 19 minus 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 times 5. So this will become 19 minus 10 over 8 which will give us 9 over 8. So this is how we do subtraction of fractions. Next is multiplying fractions. Let's solve few examples of multiplying fractions here. Multiplying fractions is very easy. For multiplying fractions, we need to know that we will multiply the numerator by the numerator of the other fraction and denominator by the denominator of the other fraction. Also, we should know that we can even cancel out or divide the numerator to the denominator of any of the fraction if there is a multiplication sign in between. This question can be done in two ways. First, we will do the simple process where we are going to multiply the numerator of first fraction to the numerator of the second fraction. So, this will give us 3 times 5, 5 times 3. So this will give us 15 over 15 which is equal to 1. The other way is we can even take these three, this 3 and the 3 in the denominator of the other fraction and divide the two numbers. So, so this will become 3 divided by 3 which is 1. Denominator of one fraction and the denominator of the other fraction this 5 5 will also become 1 here. So our final answer will be 1. So these are the two ways we can do multiplying fraction. We can even reduce it cancelling out the similar terms or we can multiply and then can cancel out the terms. Next example is we are multiplying here three numbers here. So this will become 12. 4 times 3 times 1 is 12 and the denominator is 9 times 5 is 45 times 8. 12 and 8 are in numerator and denominator so we can divide the two numbers we have a common factor which is 4 so 4 times 3 is 12 and this will be 45 and 4 times 2 is 8 so this will become 3 over 45 times 2 also we can divide 45 by 3 so 3 times 1 so this will become 3 times 1 and 3 times 1 and 3 times 5 so now we are left with 1 over 15 times 2 which is 1 over 30. So this is our final answer. 
Now let's move on to our third fraction. Here we see we can write 6 as 6 over 1 times 2 over 3 times 1 over 8. Here 2 and 8 have common factor which is 2. So 2 times 1, 2 times 1 and 2 times 4. And 3 and 6 have common factor 3. So 3 times 1 and 3 times 2. After cancelling we get 2 over 4 which can even be further reduced to 2 times 1 and 2 times 2. So our final answer will become 1 over 2. This is how you multiply fractions. Now let's move on to dividing fractions. So next is dividing fractions. I have taken two examples here. So this can be written as 2 over 3 divided by 6 over 1. While dividing fractions, we take the reciprocal of the divisor and multiply it with the dividend to get the answer. So for dividing fractions, we will write the first fraction as is and we will change the division sign to multiplication and then we will take the reciprocal of this number or we take the inverse of the fraction. The reciprocal of 6 over 1 is 1 over 6. Now this division is converted into multiplying fraction and now we can easily simplify it. Now here we see that 2 and 6 have a common factor which is 2 here. So 2 times 1 and 2 times 3. So this will become 1 over 3 times 3 which is equal to 1 over 9. Now the next example is 5 over 2 divided by 10 over 3. So 5 over 2 we will write it as is and this division sign gets converted to multiplication sign when we take the reciprocal of the other fraction. So this 10 over 3 will become 3 over 10. Now we can see that 5 and 10 have a common factor which is 5. So 5 times 1 and 5 times 2. So this will become 3 over 2 times 2 which is equal to 3 over 4. So this is our final answer. So this is all about dividing fractions. So this video is all about fraction and is a quick revision for fractions chapter. I hope this is going to be very helpful to you. Thanks for watching.